Hey gang, back at you again with another story. Let me turn this radio down. Uh, this is the story of how I saved the party. So I was out in uh, Woodmore. I don't know if you know Woodmore. It's kind of a it's kind of a well-to-do area of PG County. And I pulled up to the house, and the house happened to be up on a hill. And there were not one but two flights of stairs to come down to get down to the sidewalk level. Um, so I pull up and I make sure I'm at the right address. And out the door comes this lady. And she is dressed to the nines. I'm talking about wig on good. I'm talking about lashes. I'm talking about edges laid so flat. I thought they were painted on. Outfit on point she, she got on some heels on point and she comes out the door and she is coming down them stairs as fast as she can i mean you don't usually see a woman dressed like this running this fast and to top it off she's coming downstairs i'm like is this woman gonna trip or what but um so she's even holding down her skirt while she's running down the steps so she jumps in the car and just to show her that i care I pulled off fast and uh, I pulled off fast for that reason but I also pulled off fast because I have no idea you know what she's running from so she gets in the car I see the ride it's not too far away it's like it's like it's like six miles away and um, so I pull off and I say to her I say what are we running from she told me that her and her friend planned a very elaborate party house party got a big pretty big house elaborate house party the guests are starting to arrive they arrange for everything they have i guess some stripper entertainment or whatever coming over the guests are starting to arrive and nobody thought neither her or her friend had thought about liquor so she needs to run over to her house get liquor and bring it back to the party so I told her, I said, did you set it up for two stops? You know, you can go and I can bring you back too. She said, I'm trying to, but it, it won't work. It keeps putting the new stop in between. So I said to her, I said, try to set it up again. She tried to set it up. I said, you're going to see a little button with two arrows pointing at each other like that. And she clicked the button and it flipped the two stops. So now I was taking her to get the liquor and coming back and she was just so thankful i mean she was just so thankful so we get to the house again i'm you know driving as fast as i can safely and where there's no cameras or anything like that and she her house happened to be on a hill too so i let her out and she goes up the stairs it's not as many stairs as the other house but it's a lot of stairs i make a u-turn in the meantime because she was at a cul-de-sac so i turn back around i'm waiting for her and she comes down the stairs with a big bag with bottles just clinking and she got in the car i said damn what did you bring she said i brought all the liquor i had in my house so we're on our way back and she gets a call and this is her friend she planned the party with so i can hear the phone conversation right because she has it on speaker so and this is hilarious her and her friend call each other bitch they just that's just the way they talk so the lady at the house, she says, bitch, where you at now? And the girl in my car said, bitch, I'm about to pull up. I'm almost there. And then the girl at the house said, bitch, how you do that? <laughs> and then the girl in my car says, bitch, the Uber driver taught me a lesson. I actually wasn't working for Uber, but that's like the generic term for right here. And then uh, the girl at the house, she paused. And she said, bitch, I can't with you <laughs> y'all do right now. Y'all on some witchcraft shit. <laughs> so we get back to the house. I help her carry all the liquor up the stairs. And that's pretty much the end of the story. That's the story of how I save the house party. Thank you for watching. And again, please like and subscribe. Oh, also, if you have any questions or, or, or things you want advice on or you want to request a specific story i have a story for every possible situation that you can get in as a rideshare driver or as a rideshare passenger right so leave that in the comments or message it to me 
Or if you want to, you have a story and you want me to tell your story, I'll do that. Thank you.